Welcome back to Omnifactory, and I've been doing a bit of cleanup. So out here, not much has changed, otherwise I've taken the ivy off the sides of our starting building. I've also started clearing additional buildings out to the side, putting torches in them. Same thing around there, and also um, basically, well, all the way up, in fact, uh, basically also trying to look for chests. Because one of the things that you'll find in chests, that if you're lucky, uh, I think is in, in these Lost Cities buildings, is a drill core. I haven't been lucky enough to find one yet, which means I still need to stick with the hammers, unfortunately. So yes, I want uh, a drill core as soon as I can, but that will just take some exploration. I haven't explored over there yet. But uh, also this means I have less mobs around here, which is often a good thing. You notice I've also removed the central pillar from the room, moved the ladder over to the sides. Same thing on all the actual levels here. Uh, if we just go up one, same thing here. We've got some ore and our teleports area and then on the roof i'm just going to be building out into a sort of roof type a roof terrace or something like that we'll see anyway so heading back downstairs if i can actually get down the ladder i've moved some storage down here and some early storage drawers as well as uh you know our previous setup i've extended the wire and out here we've got a kind of garden area just that is separate from everything else that is uh, easy enough for me to plant any plants that we need to in here okay so just brief overview. So to get on with the quests then, we need to get over to this item conduit. Uh, there's a couple of quests I did off camera and that was just basically pulsating dust and uranite dust. Um, we already found uranite ore to put down the mine. And that you just basically cook that up in a furnace, it turns into pulsating dust and then you modify that to get pulsating iron. Uh, pulsating... whoops. Pulsating. Uh, yes, so it's just iron and the pulsating dust. And then this, in turn, you drop into your wire machine and you get uh, pulsating iron wire, which nicely, if you combine that with, um, for example, conduit binder, you'll get Endryo item conduits, which is excellent. So that should give us the quest, hopefully. Yep. And we've got item conduits going. Of course, that uh, is a nice upgrade, and we'll be able to use that, presumably to pull stuff out of these machines, although I don't know how compatible these machines are. Anyway, moving on with the quests, uh, there's a few other machines it wants us to actually build. So there's the LV fluid solidifier going through pumps, there is the LV mixer, and there's LV electrolyzer. So let's, let's take a quick look at those, make sure they use uh, things that we can actually build. So basic mixer is the LV version. Whoops. I need to just add that one to favorites. Uh, requires a tin rotor, which looks reasonable. Yeah, lots of tin stuff. Okay, electric motor, circuits, LV machine hole. Clearly we can already make that. Okay, the electrolyzer. Uh, whoops, I right clicked. There we go. Electrolyzer is a couple more circuits, so we need four circuits so far. Gold wire, which shouldn't be a problem, and more LV machine hulls. So let's add that as well. And then the fluid solidifier. Solidifier. That's going to need some pumps. They're new, so let's actually add those and the solidifier itself, because I'm going to be doing most of this off camera and two more circuits. So I'm going to need six circuits to get started, and we're going to need the electric pump which is a bunch of other stuff. So a wrench, motor, screwdriver, we already know how to make bronze. We haven't made yet, though. We we'll presume that that is um, copper and tin, but uh, that needs to be made. From... Why does a bar? Oh, it's pipe. It needs to be made from plate. OK, fair enough. I'll let you off on that one. And we can make that presumably in the alloy smelter with copper and tin, bronze ingots. Come on, alloy smelter, tin and copper. Yeah. As you might imagine, three to one ratio if you're used to playing Minecraft. So I'm going to get on with a few bits and pieces. I'm going to get the circuits crafted. And there's nothing much else new around here um, other than we have like this new exit at the outdoors and it's nighttime out there. So I'm going to go and craft a few components. We'll get those machines made and let's head further from there. So I just crafted the pumps. They're ready. And so we can claim that quest reward. And now we've got the fluid solidifier, the mixer and the electrolyzer. I've put them all and laid them all out. They're all fairly straightforward. So there's the mixer, there is the electrolyzer, and there is the fluid solidifier. So we'll put those together. 
Um, I'm not sure what the order should be in these just yet, so I'm just going to put them in any order for the moment. And uh, probably put it, probably better having this fluid solidified next to the furnace, but the smelter even. But uh, yeah, not going to worry about it for yet for the moment. Uh, do we have? Oh no, it didn't pick up the fat. Oh no, I need to go and try to chance this again. Uh, hopefully these don't actually break on breaking them because uh, that would not be good. Uh, so let's just grab that, and you should count. And the fluid solidifier. Which one did it not count? LV electrolyzer. Okay, you should have counted them. I do have them in my inventory. Oh, I actually have to make stuff. So it did count them, fair enough. But we need to make a whole bunch of different dusts to demonstrate that we are actually using it. Fine, how about the fluid solidify? Yeah, we need to make another block as well. So um, why don't I, if they're not going to break, then why don't I put the fluid solidify just next to here, just in case. And then we'll have the electrolyzer and the mixer. Okay, so what did the mixer want us to Well, let's do the fluid solidify first. Mold block. I thought we'd already make a mold previously. Um, mold. But we want mold block. And it's sort of positional depending on where you put the tools. So we just want an empty shape plate, which is just four steel plates. And did I save this in any of these? I probably didn't because it was sort of a one-off at the time. And it probably still is a one. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, I did actually save it. So I'm just going to need four steel plates, which of course we know we can make already with some relative uh, ease with iron and with, uh, was it coal dust? I assume it's going to be coal dust of some kind. Uh, steel. Yeah, let's go and check it out. And we're just narrowing in on the last part of this quest, which is the electrolyzer one. I made the mold already, that's already done. It just took four steel plates. We need to make clay dust, that's just clay with a mortar. It's not a problem at all. And you put that in the electrolyzer if you have enough power available, and it outputs a bunch of other stuff. Sodium, lithium, uh, yep, silicon, which is what we want, and aluminium. And that's actually quite cheap in terms of power as well. So you're going to want to output enough power, but other than that, we can get everything we need. And there's the electro uh, electrolyzer quest done. So, a bunch of other stuff done over here. Oh, a large quest icon. Blast Furnace Fun. Now, this, pack, this pack has um, multi-block structures, and it's intended that you use huge amount. well, not huge amounts, but large structures uh, in multi-block structures to actually do lots of stuff. So, that's maybe what it means when it has a large icon like this. We'll see. Uh, we'll have to try it ourselves. And then there's some other quests in here. So it mixes two dust to make a third. For now, you'll be using it to make glowstone dust and energetic blend. Energetic blend is the stuff you need to make energetic alloy for end IO stuff. Glowstone dust will be useful regardless. So that's from phosphor and gold dust, or you can gather it from the nether, of course. Yeah, that's not a problem. We haven't been to the nether yet, but uh, I'm not sure whether we should, given that we're making it, we can create it without the need to go there. So let's just hand in all of these. So that's three of them done. Uh, let's just take... The cake one as well. Let's take an overworld cake. There you go. So everything's nice and green. Um, what have we got next? So more materials three in electrical steel. We also need dark steel running up from regular steel, looks like. And then we have obsidian ender pump and ender tanks. And ender tanks are very, very nice. I like them a lot. Very useful in all my playthroughs. And obsidian, we need to craft those. And uh, yeah, we can use it just regular diamond pickaxe or a mining hammer uh, with water on top of lava of course that's not a problem to do that um we need to make dark steel and uh, well there is other options i suppose yeah it's just basically saying mine it you can actually make it let me just put this away you can actually make it using the fluid solidifier but in order to do so it's um it needs lava <laughs> So, so I suppose you could lay the lava out and then come and bring it back. But given we've got or have a mining hammer somewhere, um, a diamond one, unless I've used up the last bit of it, um, then we can go down and just use the usual method, which is to grab a bucket, some water, and get ourselves some obsidian. One trip to a mine later with a bucket of water, and we've got 20 obsidian. We didn't need 12 for the quest, but it actually wants us to, to get... Uh, more for other things, so I may as well go and craft that. So you'll see there is also an improved furnace. There is furnace V7 that is uh, an obsidian furnace. So I am going to use that. But before I do, I just want to collect a fuel out of this. And hope that this is just a recipe with the furnace surrounding with obsidian, just like before. 
No. Okay. Fine. That'll teach me for uh, for doing that. <laughs> for just assuming. Let's uh, have a look. And ah, oh, it's two diamond furnaces. Okay. Fine. Now, it does say you may not want to actually do this, but uh, I actually do. It just makes two items at once, but I've already got two furnaces. Oh, I've already got two furnaces, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're going to need to make one anyway for a, for an upcoming um, quest, apparently, so we should probably just combine them. Um, let me just put this stuff in here, just so I can actually pick other stuff up. Uh, there we go. Let's get this fuel out of here, because it won't be kept. There we go, so two diamond furnaces, ah, sacrifice, but must be done. There we go, quest complete, hopefully. Looks like it. Yep, furnace V7, get more Omni coins, and we'll drop this back up here. And now, different sort of layout, so I may well go and craft more another diamond furnace just to actually get the other one back, but now it has two slots, presumably, for, uh, for crafting, so let's just make sure... We stock that up as we can and put the rest away. Now, we also need some dark steel. Now, I got lucky when I was exploring. I think I got some dark steel uh, when I was exploring somewhere. Dark steel, there we go. I've got five of it. So it wants us to make 12, and I've got five. However, it's obsidian. Um, I think it's obsidian combined with steel itself. So I've already got some steel. Uh, I've got one short steel. I need to make it a little bit more steel. Uh, unless Damascus Steel counts, I don't think it will, but uh, yeah. Are you still charging? Are you still burning? You are. Can we actually make up some more steel? It's um, wrought iron and coal dust. Is there enough power to do that? Hopefully there is. We are burning. And we have got quite a lot of battery power, so that should do the job. I need one more steel if possible. And I'll just take that back out for now, because we're going to be uh, basically combining, hopefully, uh, how much is it? So seven and seven. And hopefully you're going to make dark steel for me. Dark steel? Come on, I know you want to. Yes. So we can get dark steel that way, and that is Ender IO stuff. I did already find an Ender Sword, however, so I don't need to make one of those anytime soon. But we will just wait for the rest of those to actually craft up. And then we're into Ender Pumps and Ender Tanks, which are great. Ender Pumps use RF to function, so that's important to note. We're not using RF at the moment, we're converting it into Gregtech's power. Ender Tanks don't require power, yes, yes, yes. Hopefully they are the normal one. Try setting one ender tank by an ender pump positioned over lava. Yeah, something like um, the nether, perhaps? <laughs> or we can pump it from, you know, a lake down below. I probably will do that. We'll probably move that down there. So, uh, yeah, so we want the, end, the ender pump over lava and then the tank next to it. And then we want two tanks. So that's going to ask us to do that. Uh, however, ender, ender tanks normally take materials I don't necessarily have yet. Ender tank... Yeah, it has blaze rods. We don't have blaze rods. We have obsidian and a wow, block of ender pearl. Interesting. Different recipe entirely. Uh, we can make ender pearls now, by the way. That's something I didn't necessarily show on camera. Um, we can smelt up diamond with pulsating dust to get ender pearls. And pulsating dust is the stuff that comes from uranite. Uraninite? Uraninite? Uraninite. That's horrible. That's a horrible, horrible word. <laughs> There's too many NIs in there. Anyway, uh, that does mean that a block of ender pearls is a block of diamond, effectively. So, yeah, we're not getting out of that one quickly. But more importantly, blaze rods. Uh, is a brewing stand goes into blaze rod? Well, I found a brewing stand already, but uh, that's not too terribly useful. And we don't have hellish matter yet, so we can't do that. We can compact it, so that may be the first option we have. And do is there anything we can compact? Um, let's see. Is there anything we can electrolyze? Ender eye dust? It doesn't look like that that's too easy for us to do, unless I'm missing something. Ender eye dust, is there anything we can mix for that? Ender pearl dust and blaze powder. So once I get one blaze powder, I can duplicate it. 
but we don't have any yet, I don't think. Chemical reactor we don't have, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to worry about it just yet. And I will figure a way of actually getting it uh, soon enough. Okay, so that's that one, something I don't need to worry about. I can obviously go into the nether, that will get us some um, potential blaze powder and blaze uh, rods from doing stuff over there. But might be nice if I didn't need to. And then it leads on into simulating mobs, which is, of course, the other way of getting it. So, yeah, we may have to think about getting in that. But even to start with simulating mobs, you do actually need to kill six of the things uh, to actually get the, the learning thing. You've seen it in Sky Factory anyway, if you've been watching Sky Factory. And then charging quartz, that sort of seems like the start of A2 kind of stuff. And over here we've got electrical steel. So that's probably the next one. So we need to make silicon dust and steel ingot. However, silicon dust comes from seven clay dust. That's quite expensive to get one electrical steel. So, uh, do I have an excavator? I probably want to go and... I've still got one working. Uh, yeah, there it is. Go and actually dig up some clay from a river, and then that should help us create silicon dust. Uh, we have the dark steel. Yep, so that should be the dark steel stuff. And there we go. So we'll take that quest quite happily and yeah you see this simulated mobs that's going to be presumably the the quest with the, like a skeleton simulation or something along those kind of lines anyway electrical steel first so i'm off to dig up a river so i crafted just one enough for the quest itself which is enough to get us at five opening coins and that will start us to open us up into endryo capacitors into basic capacitor banks and grade of infinity and everything else however before we get to that i thought we'd go down into this area i'm kind of interested in what this blast furnace fun is and uh, phosphorus and sulfur and sulfur can be converted by xp into blaze powder i think so if there's a way to get that cool uh, in any case more materials needs us to get nickel now nickel is coming from pentlandite and garnierite okay however they are both available for sale so we can get them for samples for our scanner so let's get some omni coins and uh, let's see if we can buy some samples. So uh, we have Garnerite. There we go. We'll get 32 of you. And is the Pentlandite available as well? Um, no. Oh, hang on. No. Ah, Pentlandite, yes. So we'll, we'll get a sample of both. Come on, let me claim it. There we go. And let's go and put those upstairs in our sample room, just so we don't forget. Yeah, so we've got iron, silver, gold. So let's put both of you down as well. So we've got somewhere to resample that, should we need to. And then we're going to look at processing these. So these are the usual kind of processing. Yeah, pulverization gets us crushed garnerite, nickel dust, and stone dust from the pulverization process. Uh, if we just go through the crushed stuff... That gets us impure, and that gets us nickel nuggets. Eh, that's slightly... well, I suppose it works, but yeah. It would be nice to be able to get the nickel dust directly from pulverization. I'm not sure if we get multiple outputs from our basic macerator, though. There's only one slot here, so yeah, we get what we get, basically. So I'm going to leave this in here, and let's see what we get out of two stacks of these two different items. So here we go, enough to get one nickel. Is it just one win nickel we need for the quest? Let's have a look. Beginning at one nickel. We need to make invar and cupra nickel. Okay, so invar is probably going to be an alloy of nickel and iron, I would have thought. So invar ingot. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Alloy smelter. Nickel dust or nickel ingots, fine. So yeah, we just need two iron. That is fine there. So let's just grab a couple of pieces of iron. And we also want cupra nickel. Cupra nickel? Ingots? Yes. What are you? Copper and nickel. You might imagine. I should have realized from the actual name Cupro. I'm using copper. CU is the, uh, the, the thing. That's fine. We just need uh, a copper ingot. And that will also alloy up. So we have all of these. We may as well just convert these nickel. These nickel ingots up so let's just get a cupra nickel going and we'll also get a invar going after that which should be done shortly 
And there we go. Okay, so invar and cupronickel. Good. We'll claim that. And now we get things opened up. We have first two tier two, uh, first tier two circuits, gallium. Okay, so Greg Tech is coming in there again. Energetic alloy. I think I've already made some of that, but I can't actually get to it yet until I go through this blast furnace. Fu okay, we're not doing that today. Yes, uh, it is the big multi-block structure, which is great. It's a, it's a major, major milestone in your Greg Tech career. It has the power to smelt more advanced materials, first of which aluminium. It, that's, and it's even spelled the English way. Okay. It's going to be important in the immediate future. There is a diagram of how to build the EBF and JEI. Yes, fine. The second and third levels must be a square shape of coil blocks. Cupra Nickel is the only type of coil block you have access to for now, so we'll probably get upgrades later. And the fourth level, which is the top, must be a 3x3 three three of heatproof machine casings. So it is actually going to lead us to actually craft the right amounts of these things, presumably, and we have to figure that out. But in order to get Cupra Nickel blocks, coil blocks, Cupra Nickel coil blocks, how much nickel am I going to need? Because remember, the nickel is not abundant at the moment uh so for that we need cupronickel wire so we need eight times two or 16 cupronickel wires and each one is probably a single ingot so yeah each one of these blocks is going to be 16 uh, sorry hang on no it's two per ingot so it's going to be eight ingots per block rather than nine but we need 16 of them so yeah uh, 8 times 16, so that's what? Uh, uh, 80 is 124 ingots? Uh, or there or thereabouts. Someone will correct me in the comments if I'm always wrong on maths when I'm trying to concentrate on talking. So yeah, I may have a bunch of, of nickel to make, it seems. Um, how are the other stuff here? So how about heatproof machine casings? That's the, the largest other quantity of stuff. So this is probably going to be Invar, isn't it? Heat, although Invar I thought was a low temperature alloy. Uh, heatproof machine casing. Here's Invar plate. Okay. I really did think it was low temperature. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Could be misremembering. In any case, that, at least we get three out of that. But that needs, you know, six Invar plates for this and some Invar frames, which is... Would be nice if I can get to the actual invar. Yeah, that's even more plates. So, yes, there's plenty of materials for us actually to get that. No wonder it says it's actually a milestone. And then it does say you want to look at your batteries quite near to the EBF. It's very power hungry, and if it doesn't get enough energy, progress on the current ice and smelting will start to regress. Now, I did get a comment from a previous commenter last episode saying, yes, when you start having this, uh, you have a problem with power mainly because of the fuel. You need to keep feeding whatever, you know, if we're using steam dinos or whatever, uh, with those with fuel. So I'm almost tempted to think about looking for some kind of tree farm first, if we can actually make one. Uh, do we have any farming blocks? Um, hang on, do we? What, what kind of things do we have? Uh, let's just look for farming again. Farming station from Ender.io. Plants harvest crops, but that's not tree. So tree, uh, any blocks for that? And apparently the plumbing station will actually uh, happily harvest trees, it seems. Uh, well, yeah, tree taps and axes is one of the ingredients, so it seems that like that would work. However, that, need, that needs Ender IO stuff that we just don't have yet. Solarium um, is, you know, fine, but it comes from soul powder, which is well, in fact, hang on, that doesn't have an input. Interesting. Uh, we'd normally have alloy smelter. Yeah, soul sand and gold, usual recipe, that's fine. Uh, soul machine chassis, again, uh, something we don't have yet. Industrial machine chassis, which needs grains of infinity. So for, to do that kind of automated stuff, although we'd like this kind of thing, I'd like to make sure we have fuel to feed into the fire first, which means that I probably should be heading down on this kind of direction over here, where we have capacitors, grains of infinity, and presumably that will head off to the right here and head towards Ender.io, okay? And then in early game, this has started to actually increase farming. Best blast furnace fun. Uh, yeah, so we need to get the, the blast furnace first. Maybe that will actually pop up because the blast furnace needs so much fuel. So either way, we'll get to it. And then there's some other stuff around here, some more LV stuff that we have to make yet. So a polarizer. And that will 
Uh, save us using redstone to magnetize iron bars. That's good. Although not too much of an issue with the amount of redstone that I found. Centrifuge that can uh, spin impure dusts to get, uh, yeah, not only the main dust, but also a tiny pile of a second dust. Sort of useful way to get rarer stuff. And then we've got LV cluster mill. Okay, so each of these things are going to require me to go make more and more circuits, no doubt. Of course, I will be doing that off camera. So I will probably see you next episode at this point. I'll leave it there. We've got three more machines. We've got some more stuff done. Showing you around the place and dug up half a river just to get lots of clay. <laughs> and there's a spider around somewhere. Yeah, I need to get to that. Anyway, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next episode for some more Omni Factory. Feel free to click on the bell if you want to get notifications for future episodes and subscribe and share as you normally would. More importantly than everything, leave comments down below for other people who are playing through. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.